Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the distance between two points on a great circle. So what is a great circle? Well, if you have a look here at the 3D model of the Earth, you can see that the lines of longitude, so the lines going down, these lines over here, they are all great circles. Now, why are they great circles? Because you can see that they all go through the center point of the Earth. Right? They all go through the center of the Earth. You can see that if I just go up a bit, they all go through the center of the Earth, which is the North Pole. And then you can see here on the other side, they all go through the center of the Earth, which is the South Pole. So they're called great circles because it's impossible to draw another circle that is bigger. If you want to draw a circle using the Earth, then the lines of longitude are the longest circles. Now you can also find another great circle, which is the equator. The equator also goes through the center of the Earth. So the equator is the only latitude line that is a great circle. All the other lines of latitude are not great circles. Small circles. They're small circles. So yeah, the lines of longitude are great circles. Equators are great circle. And then what I want to talk about is if I pick a single line of longitude. Let's pick um, east 117.5. East 117.5. So this line right here. All right. This line right here. And what is on this line? Well, we've got Beijing, which is East 117.5. And then we've got Anhui, which is also on the same line. So these two points are both on the same longitude line longitude line is a great circle now I want to find the distance from Anhui to Beijing how would I do that how would I find the distance between this point and this point given that they are both on the same longitude so what I need to do is I need to write down the coordinates of these two points so we have Beijing, which is on this latitude line. So what is the latitude line for Beijing? It is 40 degrees north. And what is the latitude line for Anhui? It is 32 degrees north. So I have 40 degrees north and 32 degrees north. So let's go back to our um, whiteboard tool. So we have Beijing, which is 40 degrees north. And we have Anhui, which is 32 degrees north. That's a degree symbol, not a zero. 40 degrees north, 32 degrees north. And they are both on 117.5 degrees east. Now, this bit here is very important that their longitude values are the same. If they don't have the same longitude then they're not on the same great circle which means that we won't be able to do this problem so in order for us to find the distance between two points on the same great circle so the distance between Beijing and Anhui what you do is number one you find the angular distance now, one of them is 40 degrees north, one of them is 32 degrees north. So what is the difference? Well, the angular distance is simply 
40 minus 32 which is 8 degrees 8 degrees is the angular distance from Anhui to Beijing okay so now that we have found the angular distance what is step 2 step 2 is simply to multiply the angular distance that you found in step 1 which is 8 degrees and multiply it by 111.2 kilometers well that's easy why do we do that though I will explain that to you in a second but let's just get the answer 8 degrees times 111.2 is 889.6 kilometers and that is the distance from Anhui to Beijing now another thing that you need to take into account is that because they're both north of the equator so they're both north 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 so to find the angular distance you just subtract them but if one is north and the other is south so for example let's say we had 40 degrees north and 20 degrees south then if you imagine this is the equator so that's the earth that's the equator one is 40 degrees north 40 degrees north another is 20 degrees south so that's zero because that's the equator the distance between them is actually distance is actually 40 plus 20 which is 60 so in this case when the lines of latitude are opposite one is north one is south you have to add the numbers but because in this case they're the same they're both north so the distance between them you just subtract 40 minus 32 which is 8. okay so now that we know how to do it let's try and understand why we do it this way why is it 111.2 kilometers because if we have the earth like this let's just imagine we're looking at the earth sorry that this circle is not very round now some scientists or geologists have figured out that the radius of the earth is 6,000 371 kilometers okay that is the radius of the earth radius of the earth so what does that mean about the circumference of the earth well if you guys remember the circumference of the circle so the distance around the outside of the circle this distance right here is 2 times pi which is 3.14 times the radius 2 times pi times 6371 which is 40,000 and 30 kilometers okay now if you guys remember on a circle there are 360 degrees so on a circle let's just try and draw another circle here there are 360 degrees so we got 0 1 2 3 that's as actually I should be 10 20 30 something like that all the way around is 360 degrees okay now how big is 1 degree okay if I want to divide this distance which is all the way around the earth which is 40,000 if I divide that by 360 then I will get the distance just from one degree to another okay let's say this is 350 degrees that's 349 degrees then I'll be able to get the distance between these two points I'll be able to get the distance from here to here if I divide 40,000 kilometers by 360 so if I put that in the calculator 
okay if I put that 40,030 divided by 360 I will get 111 point one nine uh, kilometers round it to 2 DP which is the same as 111.2 rounded to 1 DP so that's why you multiply it by 111.2 kilometers okay thanks for watching guys see you next time